Cringe warning, this video has copious amounts of cringe in it from both the commentator and the subject of the video. Please prepare your balls for such a large dose of cringe being injected into those veiny bad boys. How's it going guys? Cracked Rag here and welcome back to LOL Cow Watch, that show on the internet where I take a look at real life creatures from the hills have eyes and exploit them in front of thousands of people for money. In today's episode, well, let's just say the subject of it is somebody who's been on my radar for a very long time. This is a lol cow who is extremely obscure, I mean 99% of people have absolutely no clue who this is. Also, to set the mood for today's episode, we're gonna need to make things a little more gangster around here. Alright, now that we're super fucking gangster, let's stop beating off the bush. Today's subject is a man who only goes by the name of Cyrax. Not the Mortal Kombat character, this individual is much cooler and much tougher. Cyrax, known in real life as Chance, is a 31 year old man with severe physical deformities. Which I know, boo hoo, he has physical deformities, suck my cock, bitch. Disabled people don't just get to get away with whatever they want. You gotta understand, Cyrax cucks himself every single day and is fully responsible for being the laughing stock that we see before us. This individual is one of the most delusional lol cows I've ever seen. Not even Chris Chan is as delusional as this guy because at least Chris Chan has tangible work that somewhat back up his delusions. Chance, on the other hand, does not. See, Chance's biggest goal in life is to blow up and become the next big rapper. He genuinely believes with every fiber of his being that he is some unsigned rap god who is going to blow up the underground and make waves just like Eminem did. So why don't we actually sit down and give the man a chance? I mean, clearly he has something here. Let's give it a listen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't wanna see the Holy cow! I wanna blow my friggin' brains out! That sounded like unadulterated, ground up shit. First of all, it sounds like you took the vocals from another song and put it on top of this song, which is just a random instrumental. Nothing flows or mixes together. Second, you have so much fucking processing on your voice, you sound like Justin Bieber on Crystal Meth. I just don't understand how even the weirdest of people could make something like this and not go, Oh wow, I've made a stinking pile of shit. I need to create something better. But I guess that just goes to show the delusional mindset of our beloved Cyrax. Here he is plotting how he'll sell his amazing music on the streets, which is just the best way to sell anything. Apparently, according to him, if he can sell 38 CDs for $10 a pop, he'll have $8,000? So I figured, I sell all 38 CDs for $10 a piece and all 15 digital art pieces for $20 a piece, I should be walking away with around $8,300 or around the area. Only problem we need to solve is keeping Marty and his goons out the way. Yeah, that's the only problem you gotta solve here, Cyrax. Also, he seems to think that everything he makes is some beautiful piece of gold, and he's even been tricked multiple times by multiple trolls into thinking that he was a part of a music label, which is just really cruel, actually. That's a really mean thing to do. One of his trolls is named Music Biz Marty, and this is a guy who's gone out of his way to pretend to be like a record label owner, and he tricks Cyrax into thinking they have like deals all the time, and then he screws him over. It's fucking weird. I can't even really explain that part of Cyrax's life because it's so fucking complicated. The amount of lore in Cyrax's life is comparable to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's complicated and it's ridiculously huge. Cyrax also believes that at the age of 31, he doesn't need to get a job because Daniel Radcliffe during his rise to stardom didn't need to get a job. The only difference being that Daniel Radcliffe was 11 years old and Chance is motherfucking 31. Plus. Daniel Radcliffe was famous for being in an internationally recognized movie franchise. Cyrax, you're famous for having bed bug bites on your dick. Which by the way, did you know that Cyrax has bed bug bites all over his cock and balls? 
We know this because he's showed us many, many times. See, Cyrax's home is so filthy and poorly taken care of and poorly maintained that there are bed bugs flooding the place absolutely everywhere, particularly on Cyrax's bed, which seems to be a pretty nice party hot spot for these bed bugs. Because of this, Cyrax's penis and balls are completely coated in bed bug bites. There are so many bed bug bites on this dude's dick that his dick is three times bigger than the average penis because it is so swollen. So we've covered the tip of the Cyrax iceberg. He makes shitty music, he's absolutely delusional, he has severe physical deformities, he looks like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, and he has bed bug bites all over his butthole. But what makes him truly awful? Well, Cyrax over the course of his life has actually done some pretty awful things, even for my standards, and I really hate judging people. Did you know that Cyrax has had over 40 police incidents at his home over the last 10 years? That's more times than I've ever had the fucking police called in my life. I don't even think I'll see 40 police officers in my life. I mean, shit, even assuming I live to be 100 years old, I doubt I will even see that many police officers in the flesh. That is ridiculous. Let's just say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree when it comes to Cyrax's family lineage, as uh, his father kind of like, you know, raped a child on a bike path? And now he's in prison, and now Cyrax is a fatherless boy who doesn't know what to do, and now he's got bed bug bites all over his dick. But you know what, this isn't about his father, it's messed up to bring his family into this, so let's get back into Cyrax. What else has Cyrax done? Well, he's done everything ranging from severely choking his grandma out, to forcing his male friend let him suck his dick and balls, to sending dick pics to minors over and over again. Like once, some pedo hunters made a fake profile of a very underage looking girl who clearly stated she was 15. And without any hesitation at all, Cyrax, once contacted by this girl, sent her up numerous videos of him jerking his dick and balls. Masturbating completely shamelessly, wide out in the open, coming in the fucking sky, and he did this knowing she was underage, him being 31 years old. There are so many stories of this guy's delusions that it's absurd. As well as his rap sheet, his rap sheet's longer than XXX Tentacion's. Not to mention, there are so many fucking sagas out there of Cyrax's life, it is ridiculous. He's tried to be everything from a Formula One driver to a literal Nazi to a rapper. This is someone who desperately wants to be a part of a community, but can't find a community at all. Though he has absolutely no tact in how he finds these communities, or goes about really anything. He knows nothing about anything. I've never seen a lolcow that knows literally nothing about nothing, while still acting like a top expert in everything. This is what happens when a kid grows up isolated from reality while being bullied quite heavily. Eventually, when you live like this, you just become a raging narcissist, and, well, you autoerotically asphyxiate yourself. So yeah, that's Cyrax, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of the episode. Remember that this is a short short series. As I've said time after time, I'm only here to open up my teat and let you suckle on it so you can swish my boob milk around your mouth. I'm not trying to fill a whole carton of milk. That's up to you to do, and there's dairy farms everywhere, so. Anyway, that's all for today. See ya.